morning once again. My name is Whitney Hahn, and on behalf of the outgoing 62nd and incoming 63rd administrations, I'd like to welcome you and thank you for joining us for today's inauguration ceremony. At this time, I'll ask you to stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and then remain standing for the national anthem and our invocation. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. The national anthem will be led by City of Frederick Police Officer Robert Quinton. Officer Quinton joined the Frederick Police Department as a lateral transfer in 2016. He is currently assigned to our outreach team, which focuses on our local schools and youth involvements. Officer Quinton has represented the Frederick Police Department by singing the national anthem for Academy graduations, 9-11 ceremonies, local sporting events, and other public events. Officer. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we washed we're so gallantly streaming and the rockets red glare Bursting in air, gay through through the night, that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star spangle? I may be partial, but I have a hard time imagining that this historic building has heard a more beautiful rendition of the anthem than that. Thank you, officer. Now I'd like to invite Reverend Dr. Barbara Kirshner Daniel of the Evangelical Reformed United Church of Christ to lead us in today's invocation. May we join our hearts in prayer. God of our ancestors and our God, we gather today to remember that you have created each one of us in your image, and you have called each one of us beloved. We remember that out of chaos you did create, that out of darkness you spoke, and we remember that you created the whole human family and you have called us into community. We remember all these things as we gather on this day with gratitude. For the presence of your creating spirit, O God, and with gratitude for all who have gone before us, for this city, for our elected officials, and for all those who live and work here and call this city their home. We pray for your wisdom 
to guide Michael, Katie, Kelly, Derek, Donna, and Ben. We give thanks that they have accepted a call to leadership and have committed themselves to the honesty and transparency that comes in good governance. We all know that leadership in these days is challenging, so may we acknowledge that they are human and give them some holy space as they continue to learn and grow in the understanding of the needs of our community. Give them the courage to make those difficult decisions and grace to admit when something did not quite work as expected. And even as we pray for this 93rd administration, we must remember our responsibilities as citizens of this community. You have called us to be in community as we care for one another and where neighbor is called to reach out to neighbor. You have called us to create a community marked by equity for all, inclusion of all, and especially at this time of the year as the days grow darker and colder, we remember our neighbors who are hungry and homeless and your call for us to care for one another. We remember that as the leaders of our city, they need our support as citizens who are willing to work for the welfare of all and citizens who will participate in the democratic process and are willing to put our energy in working together with them. So as our elected officials meet to discern what is in the best interest for our community, may you give them strength and courage in this work, and may we trust and demonstrate confidence in their leadership. We pray, O oh God, that as we have asked for wisdom and courage to be upon our mayor and the aldermen and all who serve this city, that you will too, too give us wisdom and courage. And bless us all as we answer your call to do justice, love mercy, and to walk humbly with you and our neighbors. Amen. Thank you, Barbara. You may be seated. We now continue with a special meeting. This is the final meeting of the 62nd administration of the city of Frederick, and I invite the mayor and aldermen to convene at the table to complete approval of the minutes, and then we'll hear from Mayor O'Connor. Good morning and welcome to this special public meeting of the Mayor and Board of Aldermen, December 9th, 2021. We have two items of business. The first item of business is approval of the minutes from December 1st, 2021. Is there a motion? Move for approval. Second. Motion by Alderman Shackelford, second by Alderwoman Kazemchak. All those in favor? That is 4-0 with Alderman Wilson not present. Approval of minutes, December 2nd, 2021, regular public meeting. Move for approval. Second. Motion by Alderman Kazemchak, seconded by Alderman McShane. All those in favor? That is 4-0. Mayor, pardon me. I need to take a point of privilege at this moment, if you would bear with me. The chair recognizes Alderman Russell. Mayor, would you join me please at the podium? This is a surprise. Mm -hmm. On behalf of the 62nd administration and the people of the city of Frederick, this board of aldermen would like to present you, the mayor, Mrs. O'Connor, Aaron, and Claire O'Connor with a gift saying thank you for serving us, for caring for us, and for being tolerant of us. Uh, it takes a family. And so we commissioned the local artist, Goodloe Byron, to create a piece for your family. 
inspired by Color on the Creek. And at this time, we'd like to present that to you. They haven't seen it. Well, thank you so much. You forced me to return the favor, so I'm going to have to make this up as I go along. Um, I think backstage we can probably dig something up that might be my way of saying thank you for your service to the city over the last four years. It has been my honor and privilege to work alongside you to share with you the many challenges of the last four years, but also uh, the many opportunities and accomplishments of the last four years. And uh, our success, my success, would not have been possible without all of you. And so please accept this as a small token of my appreciation for your service to this community and to the city of Frederick. Thank you. It, it is not just your picture from the wall in City Hall. You'll have to. I, I would ask if one of you could open the package. It's very well wrapped. You have to see the front, though. We asked local photographer Michael. Dematia to uh, provide to us uh, prints of one of his photographs, an aerial taken from a drone of City Hall. It is signed by Michael in the bottom with his initials. And the framing job was completed by my wife, Tammy. So thank you so much, Tammy. Thank you, thank you for your service. With no further business before the 62nd administration of the city of Frederick, we are adjourned. We have a wonderful treat for you next, a special performance by the combined chorus from Frederick High School. As they come forward, let me tell you a little bit about what they're up to. Today, they are under the direction of Tyler Miller, director of choirs. The combined chorus is made up of the high fidelity show choir and the mixed chorus, which are co-curricular ensembles at Frederick High School. Students attend class daily to develop good vocal technique, music literacy skills, and performance practice. The show choir performs around the county at community events and at competitions within the tri-state area. The choirs at Frederick High School regularly receive high praise at the Frederick County Public Schools adjudications. The combined chorus will now perform the 2015 chart-topping hit Rise Up by Andre Day, arranged by Mac Huff. Broken down and tired, living life on a merry go round, and you can't find the And all right. 
Thank you so much. Once again, the combined chorus of Frederick High School. Our ceremony continues now with the swearing in of the members of the new administration. I'll ask the clerk of the circuit court for Frederick County, Sandra Dalton, to come to the podium. Good afternoon, that was beautiful. Actually, it might still be morning. Um, thank you very much, performers. That was beautiful. It's, um, the home it's a great morning. We're swearing in a new board for the Frederick City Government, the great city of Frederick, by the way. Um, it is my pleasure to be here. And to um, start this, I would like to ask Mayor-elect <laughs> um, Michael O'Connor to please come forward and he will be the first to receive the oath of office. You may bring with you your family or friends. Yeah, I'm not taking them. You get to hold this, and then if you would like to stand beside me for finger laps. You would raise your right hand for me, please, and repeat after me. I, Michael O'Connor. I, Michael O'Connor. Do solemnly declare and affirm. Do solemnly declare and affirm. Under the penalties of perjury. Under the penalties of perjury. That I will support. That I will support. The Constitution of the United States. The Constitution of the United States. And that I will be faithful and that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance and bear true allegiance to the state of Maryland to the state of Maryland and support the constitution and support the constitution and laws thereof and laws thereof and that I will and that I will to the best of my skill and judgment to the best of my skill and judgment diligently and faithfully diligently and faithfully without partiality or prejudice without partiality or prejudice execute the office of execute the office of mayor for the city of frederick mayor for the city of frederick according to according to the constitution and laws of this state the constitution and laws of this state and if you would like, you may affirm your oath, please. So help me God. Sir, you are duly sworn. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. Okay. I may get your signature. Right there. And then if I also may um, present to you from the circuit court, since this isn't a state or federal, they don't get that big governor certificate, but we're Frederick and we make sure everybody gets something to hang on the wall. Um, if I may present to you the state of Maryland, as I am a state elected official, to Michael O'Connor of Frederick, Maryland, greeting. Be it known that the people of the city of Frederick, Maryland, reposing great trust and confidence in your integrity and wisdom, did elect you mayor for the city of Frederick. You are therefore to execute said office justly, honestly, diligently, and faithfully according to law and hold the same for a four-year term as determined by and according to the code of the city of Frederick, or until you shall be duly discharged therefrom. Oh, we don't like that sentence. Um, having administered the oath of office for said office, I hereunto subscribe my name and affix the seal of the circuit court for Frederick County, Maryland, on the ninth day of December in the year of our Lord, 2021, signed by me.
Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. And in the interest of fairness to the wonderful interpreters, I will not read everyone's certificate, okay? <laughs> okay, at this time, it would be my honor to call up um, newly elect, Miss Kate, Katie Nash. Elect. You may bring your family, friends, All right, I think I have to do a little shifting for the photographers. We need to get everybody in the picture here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> this is historical, and we don't get more chances after this day to get the photo album together. Okay, if I could get you to raise your radiant for me, please, mm -hmm. Katie. Such an honor to be here to do this it for is. you. Um, and repeat after me. I, Katie Nash, I, Katie Nash, do solemnly declare and affirm, do solemnly declare and affirm, under the penalties of perjury, under the penalties of perjury, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, and that I will be faithful, and that I will be faithful, and bear true allegiance, and bear true allegiance, to the state of Maryland, to the state of Maryland, and support the Constitution and laws thereof, and support the Constitution and laws thereof and that I will, to the best of my skill and judgment, and that I will, to the best of my skill and judgment, diligently and faithfully, diligently and faithfully, without partiality or prejudice, without partiality or prejudice, execute the office of, execute the office of, Alderman for the City of Frederick, Alderman for the City of Frederick, according to, according to, the Constitution and laws of this state, the Constitution and laws of this state, and if you would like to affirm your oath, please. So help me God. You are duly sworn, ma'am. I need your signature. I can get you to sign right there. And then I'd also like to present your certificate. Okay, and at this time, it is also my pleasure and privilege to invite um, Ms. Kelly Russell. Kelly, I think we've done this a few times. A few. That's a good thing. That says wonderful things about the community. You're doing a great job. If I could get you to raise your right hand for me. Look, you're a cat lover. I love cats. How could I not be kind? <laughs> Repeat after me, please. I, Kelly Russell. I, Kelly Russell. Do solemnly declare and affirm. Do solemnly declare and affirm. Under the penalties of perjury. Under the penalties of perjury. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance. And that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the state of Maryland. To the state of Maryland. And support the Constitution and laws thereof. And support the Constitution and laws thereof. And that I will, to the best of my skill and judgment. And that I will, to the best of my skill and judgment. Diligently and faithfully. Diligently and faithfully. Without partiality or prejudice. Without partiality or prejudice. Execute the office of. Execute the office of Alderman for the City of Frederick. Alderman for the City of Frederick. According to the Constitution and laws of this state. According to the Constitution and laws of this state. Ma'am, you are duly sworn. Congratulations. May I get your signature? So present you with your certificate. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. And now I would like to call to the podium Mr. Derek Shackelford. You may bring whomever you wish.
Don't go to the back, mom and dad. You gotta be in the photos. Our photographer is able to get the family. Okay, they're saying okay. You're ready to go, huh? All right, if you would repeat after me, please. I, Derek Shackelford. I, Derek Shackelford. Do solemnly declare and affirm. Do solemnly declare and affirm. Under the penalties of perjury. Under the penalties of perjury. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance. That I will be faithful and bear true allegiance. To the state of Maryland. To the state of Maryland. And support the Constitution and laws thereof. To support the Constitution and the laws thereof. And that I will, to the best of my skill and judgment, and I will, to the best of my skill and judgment, diligently and faithfully, diligently and faithfully, without partiality or prejudice, without partiality or prejudice, execute the office of, execute the office of, Alderman for the City of Frederick. Alderman for the City of Frederick. Good job. According to, according to, the Constitution and laws thereof. The Constitution and laws thereof. And would you like to affirm? So help me God. You are duly sworn, sir. I just need your signature. I can get you to sign right there. Perfect. And if I may present you your certificate. Thank you. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Congratulations. In the audience, we have a wonderful lady in blue. I've had the privilege of swearing in, administering the oath to a few times that I would love to do it again, Ms. Donna Kazemchek. So everybody has to get in the photo. <laughs> He's on this side. I, I know. Would you like him over here? Yes. Okay. Yeah. It's your Sorry. show. You just have to be near the microphone so they can hear you. I'll yell. Okay. Okay. If you would please repeat after me. I, Donna Kazemchek. I, Donna Kazemchak, do solemnly declare and affirm, do solemnly declare and affirm, under the penalties of perjury, under the penalties of perjury, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, that I will support the Constitution of the United States, and that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance, and that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the state of Maryland, to the state of Maryland, and support the Constitution and support the Constitution. And laws thereof. And laws thereof. And that I will, to the best of my skill and judgment. And that I will, to the best of my skill and judgment. Diligently and faithfully. Diligently and faithfully. Without partiality or prejudice. Without partiality or prejudice. Execute the office of. Execute the office of. Alderman for the city of Frederick. Alderman slash alderwoman for the city of Frederick. According to the Constitution. According to the Constitution. And laws of this state. And laws of this state. You are duly sworn. Thank you. And you are correct, whomever I, I was speaking with earlier that you had blue in your hair and I was like no that's just natural gray she has blue in the bottom of her hair in the absolutely. back here <laughs> absolutely I knew better um, if I may get you to sign right here please mm -hmm. Under your name. and if I may present your certificate thank you, thank thank you very you. much thank you. Okay, to round this out, Mr. Ben McShane, if you would please come forward. 
Oh, we put you back there. Okay. I do have envelopes for your certificates. Mayor, may I lay those on the table or at the very bottom of the podium? Bottom, you'll know they're there? Okay. Look how lovely you are. Hi, buddy. Perfect. You just got stood up by two children. I hope you got that. This is wonderful. You gonna help dad? Okay, good. Can you tell him please to raise his right hand? Perfect. All right, I know who gets my job in the future. If you would please repeat after me. I, Ben McShane. I, Ben McShane. Do solemnly declare and affirm. Do solemnly declare and affirm. Under the penalties of perjury. Under the penalties of perjury. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. That I will support the Constitution of the United States. And that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance and that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the state of Maryland, to the state of Maryland, and support the Constitution and laws thereof, and support the Constitution and laws thereof, and that I will, to the best of my skill and ability, and that I will, to the best of my skill and ability, diligently and faithfully, diligently and faithfully, without partiality or prejudice, without partiality or prejudice. Execute the office of? Execute the office of? Alderman for the city of Frederick. Alderman for the city of Frederick. According to? According to? The constitution and laws of this state. The constitution and laws of this state. Sir, you are duly sworn. Congratulations. Dad can put his hand down now, right? Uh, good job, hold on. That I need you to sign right in between. And if I may present you with your certificate, congratulations. And yes, I have envelopes for everyone. Are you going to let them take that if you would? Okay, and those are yours. Ladies and gentlemen, if I may, for one time to begin with, because they have four great years ahead of them, a great hand for our new, newly elected, re-elected mayor and board of aldermen. Changing of the guards. Sandy, thank you so much. Clearly, you are well practiced at the ceremony. Friends, you and I now get to bear witness to democracy in action. As the first meeting of the 63rd administration of the city of Frederick begins. Congratulations to all of you and may wisdom, courage, and grace guide you. Good morning. At this time, I call to order the first meeting, a special meeting of the Mayor and Board of Aldermen. We have two items of business on our agenda today. The first item is the election of a president pro tem. Is there a motion? I move to... Um have Katie Nash as our president pro tem. Second. We have a motion by Alderman Kazemchak, seconded by Alderman Shackelford. All those in favor? <laughs> that motion passes 5-0. We're off to a good start. <laughs> Alderman Nash, congratulations. The second item of business on our agenda today is adoption of a code of civility. 
Alderman Russell. Thank you, Mayor and colleagues. I'd like to uh, present approval of a resolution to reaffirm our code of civility in the conduct of city meetings. In 2014, the Board of Aldermen adopted and signed a resolution 1401 establishing the code of civility by which elected officials, city staff, and citizens would be expected to abide in the conduct of city business. In 2017, the newly elected officials of the 62nd administration adopted resolution 1726 to reaffirm their commitment to the code of civility. At this time, the newly elected officials of the 63rd administration are bringing forward this resolution to demonstrate their continued commitment to the code of civility. And for members of the public, so that you understand what it is that we will be approving, I'd like to read our code of civility. Civility is synonymous with courtesy, politeness, graciousness, tolerance, consideration, and respect, and is attained through polite action and expression. Civility requires elected and appointed officials, as well as staff, applicants, and the members of the public to comport themselves in a manner that permits honest efforts at understanding the views and reasoning of others. Civility promotes a positive collegial atmosphere in which all those involved in the, in the business of the city of Frederick may interact in an effective manner for the benefit of the residents of the city. On February 6, 2014, the Mayor and Board of Aldermen adopted and signed Resolution 1401, establishing the Code of Civility and evincing their intent to act in accordance therewith. On December 14, 2017, the newly elected Mayor and Board of Aldermen adopted Resolution 1726, affirming their commitment to the Code of Civility. On November 2, 2021, the residents of the City of Frederick duly elected a new Mayor and Alderman to serve as the 63rd Administration of the City. The newly elected officials were just sworn in and entered into the duties of their respective offices on December 9, 2021. They now wish to affirm or reaffirm their commitment to the principles embodied in the Code of Civility by readopting it and affixing their signatures thereto. The Code of Civility reads as such. The purpose is to promote civil discourse in the conduct of city meetings and other city business. This Code of Civility is intended to encourage all citizens led by elected and appointed city officials to abide by the following. Be respectful, speak and act politely, calmly, and reasonably. Do not resort to personal attacks, name calling, or harassment. Through words and actions, demonstrate respect for the diverse views of all citizens in our increasingly multicultural society. When advocating for a position, ensure that criticism of opposing viewpoints is expressed as criticism of a position, not an individual. Be a positive role model for public discourse, practice courtesy and consideration, and engage in respectful, non-judgmental listening. Be responsible. Demonstrate fairness by ensuring that all who are speaking have an opportunity to present their respective positions. Exercise your rights and responsibilities as a citizen Encourage others to become informed and involved. While working toward the majority, respect the rights of the minority. Clearly distinguish opinions from facts. Ensure all statements of fact are accurate and verifiable. And recognize the importance of achieving consensus as an important tool in community building. And with that, Mayor, I would move approval of this resolution and ask for a second. I'll second. We have a motion Thank by Alderman Russell and a second by Alderwoman Nash. Is there a discussion? All those in favor, that motion passes 5-0. Thank you very much. Thank you, the last item on our special meeting agenda today is aldermanic comments. Alderwoman Nash. Good morning. So I'd just like to use my time. Uh, you know, a lot of folks uh, over the last month or so have said, uh, are you excited? And um, if you know me, being excited is sort of a natural state. So uh, I am very excited. I am so, uh, so very grateful. And, you know, as I was thinking about this morning, I was thinking about the last couple of years or year and a half, I guess. It seems like it's been a little bit more than that. Um, and just how grateful I am. You know, one of the things that I think I'll look back and say, you know, without a shadow of a doubt, one of my greatest accomplishments was, you know, over the last, um, you know, couple of months, weeks, years of pandemic that we've experienced as, as it continues to go on, the collaborative way that my family worked together, Spencer's mom, Caden Liberty's dad, um, Josh, of course, um, I'll get emotional. Um, the way that we work together uh, to, to see our kids and our family through this pandemic. And as I was thinking about that, I was struck 
by this administration and that they were also doing all of those things. But, you know, they were also, you know, and I'll speak for myself, you know, sitting on my, sitting on my couch and maybe drinking a little bit of wine and trying to find bleach somewhere. Um, but they were doing all that and they were running our city. And so to the staff that made this day possible and to the staff that saw our city through, um, to this administration for all that you have done, um, please make sure that you say thank you because I can imagine it was no small feat to get through the pandemic but also lead our city at that time. So I am excited to serve with this team and I'm so grateful for you all to be here today. Thank you. Alderman Russell. Thank you, Mayor. I am so humbled and grateful to be sitting here again uh, and being asked to serve in a position uh, to serve the city and the residents. I wanted to just uh, give a special shout out to my uh, adopted mom who was unable to be here with me today, uh, who is um, not doing well, so if you would keep her, Tina Baker, in your thoughts and prayers, I would appreciate that. Um, she was my adopted mom. I have uh, my immediate family is the city of Frederick. Um, and so, as I said, when we presented the uh, piece of art to the mayor, you cannot do it without family, and that means all of you are a part of what happens here and the decisions that we make and the future of the city of Frederick. So I'm grateful, I'm humbled, to be in this chair uh, once again, and I'm also honored to pass the mantle of President Pro Tem to Alderwoman uh, Nash, and uh, we'll be there to support her in any way she needs to make sure that we are all successful, because when we're successful, the city is successful. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Shackelford. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, thank you to uh, my respective colleagues who served together in the 62nd administration, it's been an honor and a privilege to serve alongside you. Uh, thank you for your service and welcome President Pro Tem, Alderwoman Nash. Um, we look forward to the great leadership that you're gonna provide our board. And thank you, Mayor, for your leadership over the past four years, uh, particularly during this pandemic. Thank you to the city and residents of the city of Frederick for entrusting uh, me uh, to serve another four years uh, thank you for the opportunity to, 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 to serve. I uh, certainly appreciate and will do uh, my best to serve all of our city well and to do the right thing. Uh, lastly, I'd like to thank my family, uh, my family who allows me the opportunity and the space and the love uh, to, to serve. Uh, it's, it's great to come home and to be re-energized and to be replenished and to be affirmed and to uh, just to be with uh, folks that love you, uh, no matter what vote you take, no matter uh, what decision that you may make, but who love you and encourage you to always do the right thing. So thank you to my family. Thank you. Alderman Kazemchak. Thank you, Mayor. It is my honor to begin my sixth and last term on the Board of Aldermen. It has been a privilege to work with all of you, um, the staff of the City of Frederick. Uh, it, it is amazing what uh, people do in the background that nobody knows, and um, we need to say thank you again and again and again. I wanna thank my family, my friends who are family. Um, you know who you are. It's, it's amazing to have people to, um, as Alderman Shackelford said, come home to and talk to and you know, know that everything stays in the vault. Um, thank you to the residents of the city of Frederick uh, for the privilege of being able to serve you one more term. Um, you are who we do this for. And um, if you ever in your head think, oh, those daggone elected officials, I can promise you that we truly hurt and um, consider and have joy with you as we do things in the city of Frederick. This isn't the easiest job in the world, but it is certainly um, one that I'm honored to be in. So um, again, thank you all for being here. Um, it's an honor.
Thank you, Alderman McShane. Thank you everyone, especially my family, my partner Kate, my children, Eve and Galen. Kids, you did a great job coming up on stage today to help your dad. And I'm proud of you today like I am every day. And thank you to the three of you, the greatest blessings in my life, for supporting me today and over these last four years and for committing to support me for the next four years while I do this work. It takes a lot from us, and I know that there's nights I'm out when I wish I could be home, and there's things I've missed. And thank you for standing by me and helping me to do this piece of the work that is so important to our family, and that is standing up for people who need support and moving our community forward to be a more equitable and just place. To our residents, I'd like you to hear that we in this administration see you and we're here for you. If you are someone who feels that you're not fully included in this community or you're someone who has been actively excluded in the past, we see you and we value you as a vital part of this community today and in the future. And if you're one of our residents who spent some time away and just came home and are worried that this community won't give you another opportunity, we see you and we want you to become your best self. If you're an immigrant to this community, we see you and we want you here. If you're, if you're trying to stay clean and holding on in hopes of getting that 30-day chip, we see you and we're pulling for you. For everyone in this community who has struggled or maybe is struggling today, we see you and we're with you in that struggle and we're moving forward together. Thank you everyone for being here and for supporting us. Thank you. With no further business before the Mayor and Board of Aldermen at this special meeting, we are adjourned. Thank you. Good afternoon. I want to take a moment before I begin my remarks to appreciate the, the many hands behind the scenes that helped to make this day possible. My office manager, Kara Hemphill, our communications manager, Ashley Waters, my executive assistant, Guy and Sampson, many others in the mayor's office and city hall. Thank you for pulling this all together and making this a special occasion for myself, the members of the board, and our community. I also want to acknowledge Whitney Hahn, our wonderful musicians from Frederick High School and Governor Thomas Johnson High School, who we'll hear from in a moment. Our faith community for being with us today, Officer Quentin, so many people who provide so much that make these memorable experiences for all of us. This is a historic moment, the transition from one government to the next, 
It is a time-honored and important American tradition. Your participation, the community of residents and employees, makes it special for all of us. Four years ago, I stood on this stage and I spoke of being honored and humbled to accept this responsibility. I am no less overwhelmed today at the confidence placed in me by the voters of this great city and the awesome duties and service that await me and the 63rd administration. While it seems like only yesterday, in so many ways, the birth of the prior administration also seems like a different lifetime. We have achieved so much together, overcome so much together, and now look forward to new opportunities for the city of Frederick together. I remain grateful every day for everyone in my life who supports, encourages, and grounds me. Tammy, thank you for being at my side for the last 30 years, and especially over the last four. You accommodate the pressures of this service with grace and understanding that goes beyond words. I am so appreciative, and I love you with all my heart. Unfortunately, neither of my daughters could attend today as we were preparing to meet in Pittsburgh this weekend for my younger daughter Erin's graduation from medical school. Claire is traveling from her job in Rhode Island. I think they may both be watching the stream, so let me say, be good, have fun, study hard, work hard, learn a lot. You are still my heroes. I am blessed with a large family, some of whom have been able to be here today. Thank you to my brother Stephen. I think I see my cousin Michael back there. Thank you. Not a day goes by that some thought or advice or comment from my parents who have passed enters my mind. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for staying with me always. I have a brief list of people to thank for their commitment and service to my reelection campaign. They include the members of the Board of Aldermen that were here today, Kelly, Derek, Ben, Donna, Ben and Kathy, Josh, Katie, John, Don, Jim, Melissa, Missy, Yasmin, Cavante, Stephen, Josh, Malcolm. Your support, hard work, advice, and friendship mean the world to me. Thank you so much. Thank you to the many federal, state, county, and local officials and dignitaries here or represented today, Colonel Bryant from Fort Detrick, Margaret Nussbaum from the County Executive's Office, Robin Summerfield, Senator Cardin, Regan Riley, Congressman Trone's office, many of our partners in the community, in the Chamber, Tourism, Arts, Downtown Frederick Partnership. We appreciate the relationship. We are competing today with a special session of the Maryland General Assembly and with the MACO Winter Conference I look forward to a continued strong and productive relationship for our shared constituents in the years ahead. This transition offers a natural opportunity to look back on the 62nd administration before looking ahead to the challenges and opportunities which await. Every administration is unique. With historic flooding, a global pandemic, and a long overdue reckoning on racial justice, all of which continue to shape our outlook and policy conversations, I could not be prouder of this community. We respond when those in our community need assistance. We persevere and have through unimaginable public health and economic uncertainty. And we have shown up when our brothers and sisters demanded that their voices be heard and the city of Frederick listens. Because of these unanticipated conversations, our focus in many areas needed to change. Nonetheless, we continued to move Frederick forward. We are poised to invest in important infrastructure to address stormwater management in the face of climate change, to protect the life, the health, and the safety of our residents and their investments in their homes, 
and businesses. We continue to build necessary infrastructure, including parks and roads, bicycle and pedestrian improvements as part of our ongoing capital improvements program. In the next four years, with the support of the Board of Aldermen, we will open a new, appropriately sized, modern police headquarters to support a community that continues to have historically low crime thanks to the hard work of our officers and our city. The pandemic forced us to reevaluate and reimagine the way the city delivers services, from teleworking to electronic permit applications to remote inspections. Our workforce adapted and accomplished what our residents and our businesses needed. Unexpectedly, that occurred with a backdrop of unprecedented building activity. Frederick continues to be a desirable place to live, work, and play. And we remain committed to ensuring that everyone shares in the opportunity to thrive as well. What that means moving forward is continued investment in the city workforce, who are the backbone of local government service delivery. If you're an employee of the city of Frederick, I would ask you to please stand now and be acknowledged for the work that you do on behalf of our community every day. We will continue to make smart technology decisions to allow us to build greater efficiency that is customer and resident focused. We have expanded transcription and translation services and will continue to work to communicate with our diverse community. And our commitment to housing and human services will continue as we evaluate the needs of our community and deliver services in the ways and places that are most appropriate, acknowledging that existing disparities that the pandemic has exposed. Lastly, calls for justice have frankly been happening for decades, centuries in some instances. But it took the particularly egregious murder of George Floyd for many to listen and perhaps finally change the path of the dialogue. I am proud that early in the 62nd administration, Prior to those national conversations, we made the conscious commitment to enhance diversity, inclusion, and advancement in city operations and evaluate how city dollars are spent to support minority and women-owned businesses. I look forward in the 63rd administration to building on that work through our new equity program office and the implementation of the recommendations of the disparity study thereby modernizing our purchasing practices to afford greater opportunity to many who have perhaps been offered an invitation to the party, but not a seat at the table. Along the way, we adopted the city's first multi-year strategic plan, which informed and is now part of the foundation of the 2020 Comprehensive Plan. We will continue to be guided by Community 2030, and its goals of sustainable urban planning, social well-being, safe and vibrant community, competitive employment, enhanced mobility, and civic engagement. And we embrace a new kind of business as usual. I look forward to reimagining and enhancing the role our residents can and must play in the life of the city, whether meeting in person or remotely, working with our neighborhood advisory councils and our neighborhoods. In just a few short months, we will begin the budget process for next fiscal year, publicly. It's been happening behind the scenes for a while now. It is another chance for us to build on the progress of the last 275 plus years of our history. I know well from working with all of these elected officials over more than just the last four years that this 63rd administration of the City of Frederick is ready to meet the call. Thank you for giving me, for giving us, this awesome responsibility. For all our residents to achieve their own limitless possibilities, I ask you to please join us so that we can move Frederick forward together. Thank you.
Thank you, Mayor O'Connor. And now we celebrate with a little more music. In the past seven years, this next group has performed with Foreigner at the Great Frederick Fair as entertainment for the Rotary Club of Frederick, for the Frederick Board of Education as part of the Veterans Day celebration, has sung the national anthem at Frederick Key's baseball games, TJ pep rallies, sporting events, and been special guests at retirement communities throughout the area. Many members of the group have been accepted to all county and all state choruses in Maryland, and they have performed as well in the various FCPS schools musicals. We welcome to the stage the Governor Thomas Johnson High School Academy for Fine Arts Vocal Ensemble under the direction of Dr. Kathleen Taylor as they perform I Dream a World by Andre Thomas. Thank you, TJ Academy of Fine Arts Vocals. Now I invite Pastor Mark Groover of Asbury United Methodist Church to lead us in the benediction. Let us pray, let us pray. O oh, merciful and all-powerful God, I stand before you with a humble and grateful heart, 
praying for these elected officials who are seated in a place of authority in the city of Frederick. Oh God, I pray that you will give them wisdom on the difficult issues that they will be discussing and deciding on behalf of the people they were elected to serve. Help them negotiate new paths that will be better and brighter than before. Oh God, give them listening ears for all the people they serve. Give them all they serve in spirit after your own heart. Anoint them with the power of the Holy Spirit that they may feel your strength in every situation. Bless them with joy when righteousness and goodness prevail, but give them hearts that weep for injustice. Oh God, may they never forget that they have been elected for a common purpose, dedication, and commitment to, to achieve justice and equality for all people. Oh God, I pray that our elected officials identify the needs of the people and they will do their best to meet those needs. I pray that they will not be ineffective leaders, but lead in such a way for the betterment of the people. I pray that they will exercise faith, knowing that you will strengthen them and help them, that you will uphold them with your righteous right hand, and they will submit themselves to you, the ultimate authority of all our lives. And God, from the time they begin in office until their time of completion, May they serve you in our city as true leaders with undying love, unswerving faith, and unending hope. Oh God, strengthen them so they do not grow weary in their leadership role, but will serve the people in a mighty way. And the mighty people of God said, amen. Come on, amen. amen. And one more time for the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you, Pastor Groover. And thank you once again to the organizers for today's event, our hosts here at the Weinberg Center for the Arts, our ASL interpretation team, thank you so much, and the Frederick citizens who took their right to vote as a duty and actually did so. Finally, I'd like to thank you for joining us to witness democracy in action. Congratulations once more and best wishes to the mayor and the aldermen and the entire 63rd administration of the Frederick City, uh, the city of Frederick. Almost had it. This concludes today's ceremony. Thank you.